Hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Zareth Prevails, a Grand Arena story. This is it guys, this is the final match in Season 12. Uh, we're doing 5v5 now, we're, gonna be, we're going to be doing 3v3 in our next season, so that'll be exciting, I guess, uh, for some people who don't have to deal with Galactic Legends as it stands. I am facing a guy who placed all three Galactic Legends on defense, you guys will see, um, it, and it, they're pretty good teams as well, like he modded them really well, uh, they're well proportioned, that's kind of a weird way to say it, but... Um, one way or another, that it's it's very tricky defense, and I think it's fitting for the final match here. I am ten and one going into this match, so hopefully, really want to go eleven and one. That's a mark of a pretty good season. Even a loss, though, is a pretty good. I mean, ten and two. It's hard to argue with that. So, uh, one way or another, guys. I hope you guys enjoy this match and. I'll see you guys on the other side. I'll give you the results. And if you guys don't want to see all the explanations and stuff on my defense and on his or on his defense as well, on what my methodology is and stuff, uh, there's going to be timestamps in the video description if you want to check them out. So I'll see you guys on the other side. Also, before we start, guys, just want to throw a huge shout out to my patrons. You guys are amazing. Man, I cannot believe how much support you guys have been showing me, especially lately. My channel has really, truly super benefited from this. Guys, uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. I just really, really appreciate all that you do and that you are going to do. Guys, this is going to be a tough match. It just is. I'm... I am nervous AF about this match. I truly am. Look at that. I'm not even going to get this. I thought I was going to get this. Um, I thought I was going to get this feat, but I'm not because you guys will see. I don't have any characters that can get it for me. It's okay. Um, so we're right now on my main. I am 10 and 1. So trying for an 11 1 season, which is pretty tough to get. Um, my last couple matches, guys, were pretty tricky. We're in the finals against a dude named Kobe. The living legend. He really, he is. Um, man, Kobe Bryant annoyed the F out of me. As a Nuggets fan, I, I hated him sometimes, but he was a good player. Um, you know? So, Kobe the living legend. He does have, as you'll see shortly, I'm sure a lot of you have seen it already in the title, he has three Galactic Legends, he put all three of them on defense, and it is going to be a super tough time trying to beat him. Um, he put a tough defense down. So... <clears throat> Dismiss you right, living is inaccurate, and I don't mean to be uh, rude. Uh, no disrespect to the dead, but um, you're right. The, my, my opponent, however, is alive, so you'll have that. Um, my opponent has a great roster, guys. Uh, I'm not going to show you guys the stats because I didn't have time to upload them, but I've got a lot of really great stuff. My opponent did trip up on my Ray team. I put Nest in there just to throw him off, potentially. No idea what they used. Traditionally, they use a Vader team or a Thrawn with Vader team to take these guys out. I spent like an hour figuring out my defenses. I don't know if that's actually going to pan out for me, but... Um, but yeah, uh, I did spend a long time on it. Uh, this raid team, I was hoping to draw out his Commander Luke. No idea if that worked or not. He's also, he's had a history of losing with Night Sisters to this team. So I was hoping he'd try with Night Sisters here and lose. But maybe he tried with Night Sisters and won. I, I have no idea. My guess is that he kept Night Sisters for something up top. Um, so in the back, here's the thing, guys. So my opponent uses, uh, he uses his, uh, like his fives, his general Skywalker fives with Chewie and Han, uh, cheese team. He uses that on my, uh, Supreme Kylo squad and, um, or on everyone's Supreme Leader Kylo squad. So I thought if he uses Commander Luke on that Ray team up top or that Jedi training Ray team up top, then... Like, I don't think he could use it, honestly. I doubt that he did, um, especially given what he placed on defense, but... Um, <clears throat> so, so anyways, he's got... He, he can... I think that's his one option to kill this team, is what I think. Um, but if he does that, I don't know what he uses. So General Skywalker and Commander Luke are both counters to, um, to General Skywalker. 
I don't know what else he has that kills General Skywalker, at least not efficiently. Um, like maybe Darth Revan, I don't know. Um, Darth Revan would take a bite out of this, and then maybe he could finish it off, but... Uh, put this squad down. We'll see. We'll see. Um, <clears throat> up top, I'm dying of curiosity to see how I've done. Okay, I probably... <laughs> now I'm sad. Uh, so we killed Padme, killed the Geos. No idea what he's going to do with my General Skywalker. Um, and then I'll leave Fleet. Just... You guys can find out later, potentially. Um, this squad is really tough. Um, I actually had... My friend Darth Evil was testing for me because I was like out of time and she offered, um, can't use Darth Revan on this squad. I have Darth Revan available. Um, can't really use Darth Revan on this squad and this is, this is pretty tricky. So I don't, I have, I have some ideas. I haven't tested any of them though. So we're gonna, we're gonna have to just figure it out guys. Um, and then of course he's got General Grievous with Newt. He has several times of defending with this squad against Nice Sisters. So I think Nice Sisters are out. Especially because I've, they had, they do have geos here. I think they used their night sisters on my geos, is my guess. Um, but I don't know. Uh, hard to say. They also have um, a, a pretty quick supreme leader Kylo, so we're gonna have to use a different comp to be able to beat this. I don't, I don't know if it's gonna work. There's a lot of what ifs and maybes, um, especially with Phasma. Phasma might really throw off the. Um, the counter that I want to use, so there is that. Um, and then we have, <coughs> excuse me, and then we have the uh, Ray team with the Hero Bros, and I, I did practice this quite a few times in uh, Arena just to make sure uh, their fin isn't super duper fast. Uh, but the, the tricky part is, okay, so 302 on Finn, and then uh, Poe is 301. So if we try to use a Thrawn lead to get that turn meter, what's going to happen is uh, these guys will go, and they'll throw, he'll he'll give the turn to Poe, Poe will stun, and that, like, they'll, these guys will take a ton of turns. My Thrawn will not recover in time, and I'll just be potentially screwed. So here's, here's the biggest piece, though, guys. Um... His ray is also high-ish tenacity, so like my watt isn't gonna be able to apply uh, dots. It's gonna be, it's gonna take a while to chew through ray's uh, defenses. Okay, so I'm gonna take this team. Let's let's go. Let's do this. I practiced this in arena. I won 10 times out of 10 times. I would have gotten 55 banners. I had met, I had my awesome friend Johnny on the spot. I'm starting to call him Johnny OP though, because he is overpowered. He put in the team, he changed his speeds on Finn and Poe to um, re recreate this and the tenacity on Ray. He's an amazing guy. So hopefully my practice paid off. 88 viewers, wow, you guys are so cool. Okay, so put the weapons tech, I can't look at chat guys, I can't do it. Weapons tech, Vader gets a turn now. We go into Merciless Massacre. Okay, we will do this on L3. Okay, this won't kill Holdo, but we'll get closer to it so we can kill her later. Now, here's the failure point, guys. If I don't get ability block on both Poe, or on one of Finn or Poe, things are gonna get real dicey. Okay, we got ability block on Poe, that's, that's enough. Okay, and I'm, okay, on Finn is the biggest one, so. Get some more dots on people. Get this, uh, taunt tech on Thrawn. Thrawn passes it to Treya. Treya isolates L3 and puts this on Vader. Thrawn now has a clear shot to Fracture Ray. Reduce those, or increase those cooldowns. Now we'll try to kill Holdo. Got her. And we'll try to get more dots on Finn. Cool. Um, let's see. So we're not gonna try to kill Ray yet. We'll try to ability block her. Didn't work. Already ability blocked on Poe. Okay, this might, this might not kill Finn. I, I hope it does though. Yay, it did. Yay for me. Okay. 
So now let's try to ability block her. Perfect. Not that that really does much. Um, but this Andrea here. Let's see. Really, what I really want to avoid, I, I would like to be able to... Well, I, I just don't think it's going to work, but... Um, I would really like to be able to kill Ray before... I just don't think we're going to be able to. Maybe, though. Tell you what, let's let's do this. Let's little, get some people in damage immunity. Um, hopefully we get one more turn uh, before, before she... Uh, goes into her ultimate. I, really, I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll, we'll try. Um, jeez. <laughs> no, I think she's gonna get her ultimate first. Damn it all. Um, yeah, let's get him into damage immunity then. Uh, we can do this. Yeah, bummer. Okay. That's fine. We will... We will just take an ultimate. We, we you always have to take an ultimate um, in this uh, battle, anyways. That's that's just how it goes. Um, got this done here. Cool. Nihilus should get an annihilate off here Might as well. Just pull the trigger there. Cool. Okay. So now, um. Oh, that was kind of poorly timed on my end. Um, let's just try this. Cool. 55. I mean, not not 60, but here's the thing, guys. My opponent had so many people fail on this team, on this comp, exactly with my exact comp that I was pretty nervous. That's why I've done this before. I was pretty nervous, though. I thought maybe there was something I was missing. So, um, worked, though. Hits Revan, and now everyone says we're supposed to target Hux first. This is the new fangled way that uh, I hate. I hate the new fangled way, but apparently this is the way. Okay, so now we're supposed to uh, buff buff Luke up against the taunting tank. Okay, so Luke will go. Who could go next? Well, maybe old Ben? No, old Ben won't go next. Hmm, maybe I'll need to stun here with Luke, actually. We'll see. Yeah, because I don't want Stormtrooper to actually... I don't want him to die, and I don't want him to counter. Well, so, hold on. If I stun everyone... If I stun everyone, old Ben should get the next... Should get a turn before Kylo and ability block him. People are saying, some people are saying stun, some people are saying first special. I actually think, I think that if I do call for turn meter from Hoda, this will actually get me. This will be okay if I do this. Okay. Now, hopefully we hit ability block on Kylo. Nice. Okay, perfect. Okay. Now we can kill Red Trooper. Um... He has ability, but I tell you what, guys, I do want this, even though, um, okay, we're gonna finish off Hux. We can stun, taunt, okay, perfect. Um, let's give the turn to Basti, actually, so she can ability block Kylo. Um, give turn meter, because I don't have a choice. Let's see. Tell you what, let's call Basti again, get that ability block going. Um, it's just, I don't know, Phasma sitting on the wing here is, is making me nervous. Let's, uh, no, I don't, I don't want to do that actually, because he might counter me. Old Ben is actually doing an okay job of being resilient here. I guess he is now Relic 5, isn't he? Um, let's see, we'll call Revit for more, for extra damage. Cool. Um, 
take out this guy next. This will touch up his health here. Hopefully we can kill Phasma. Okay, we'll stun her. Cool. Alright. I told you it was gonna work. <laughs> Sweet. Um, this won't do anything for him really, but cool. Fifty-nine. I didn't suck, guys. That was that was good actually. <laughs> Stun is never needed. I stunned him out of spite, though. That was important. I feel like stunning people out of spite is important at times. At least all my Jedi are reliced. I don't know how much that matters, but if they have two amazing characters and the three okay, I have one amazing and four pretty decent ones. Okay. So we're gonna start with this. Hopefully we get some ability blocks on. Wow, five ability blocks. That's huge. That is huge, actually. Um, okay, so now, let's just, I don't know if we take out Luke first or not. I didn't even get that far in my planning, dear lord. Um, oh, he's got, he's got buff immunity. Um, and Shock T will hit me back if I'm not careful. Let's see. We can get Luke's turn meter reduced here if we want to, though. Let's, let's try that. That seems like a good trick. Um, tell you what, let's just start getting... I wonder if we can just kill Luke here before, before Luke gets a turn. Wouldn't that be a trick? <laughs> Sweet. Sweet. That was awesome. Um, should we just kill Kieti Mundi out of spite? Could, especially because we don't know what the heck he does. Um, let's, let's put up Foresight here. They still all have ability block. That was super lucky. Um, yeah, okay, let's just take out Kieti Mundi. Okay, he's gone. Ezra's gone. Um, I just want to, I want to wait to do this AoE thing for a minute. Um, take out Shock T now. Okay, I guess we'll just hit Luke, because he's not going to hit us back. Cowards that we are. Oh yeah, she's going to hit Luke anyways. I'm dumb. Okay, now I just have to hope that we can actually take out Luke here. Get ability block on him, sweet. This will hide Yoda for some reason. Now we'll just send people to punch him, see if we can do it. <laughs> Jolie's like, I want to use my sword. I'm like, okay. All right, brother, if you want to do that, that's good. Good for you. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, so now we can start spreading some buffs. Let's do a big hit. This won't reduce turn meter. Oh, it did? Can we reduce turn meter on Galactic Legends now? I thought that was just not possible, actually. I mean, I'm not complaining right now, but seems seems like I shouldn't be able to do that, though. Yes, of course. Uh, you're right, you can. Okay, you guys are calling me dumb and I deserve it. You totally can, because you can reduce it on the other two as well. I'm just... I'm just foolish. Cool, got 60 on his. And he used more kid good characters than me. Alright. Haha. Uh -huh. Good for me. <laughs> I'm I'm just dumb, guys. I'm sorry. Just just disregard that that foolishness of mine. Alright, let's see. So we want to do if we can get this uh if we can get shock off, that will be great on Yep, on all the characters that matter. Perfect. So here's what I want to do, actually. Um, gosh, I 
I want to put all the debuffs on. What I, what I really want to do is get uh, is get the um, what's it called on Grievous. Oh, well that was that didn't work. <laughs> I wanted to get Death Mark on him. Um, okay, well things are gonna get rough here. This should work though because this should still work. Maybe but we'll get close to killing him. And now, yep, death mark, perfect. Not great banners, but I'll, I mean, and we still haven't won exactly, but I'll, I will take this, totally take this. Whoops, should have hit someone else. B2 finally enters the fray, he's finally got a turn. Um, I don't even know who to kill next, guys. This will try to stun B2. Let's, uh, let's put fear, the fear of God, into these folks. Just put a shot. Probably should have put that on um, B1, actually. Should have killed him, because he has the most FU um, banners move. He has the best FU banners move. I don't even know how many stacks he has. We're just going to blindly hit him until he's out of stacks. There we go. Um... We can do shock again. They're all feared, but <laughs> sweet. All right, 54. That uh, wasn't perfect, but still got the win. Hopefully, my, my greatest fear is he puts something crazy in the back. Of course, if he puts something crazy in the back, I like. I don't. I, it can't be General Skywalker. Maybe he put Revan in. My guess is his Revan. Um, if he is in there, he won't have Bastila uh, in there as well. But, let's see. Oh, okay. Alright, we can deal with this, I think. Jingle lead Zeta is required. Not really, it's kind of nice to have. But, um... Okay, so Mando's only gear 12. He's going to be their weakest link. So give turn meter to everyone. Range trooper goes. And now, we dispel here. Gosh. You know what, range is close enough. Let's, uh... Because Snow is going to get next turn anyways. So we may as well do the AoE here. Okay, we killed... Wow, we killed both of them. That was cool of us. Um, now we've got enough turn meter. We can actually just focus... We'll focus on Django and get some periphery uh, damage on those two. Got him. Ah, this is such a good stomping. I love it. Cool. 60 banners with the troopers. Love this squad, guys. Love it, love it. Piet's made them relevant for sure. Okay. I haven't done this for a while. Actually, last time I tried this, I won't even tell you guys what happened last time I tried it. In fact, it was uh, it's a very bad memory, though. I'll tell you that. I'll tell you it once this is done with. Cool. Got the soldier out. Let's, um, let's actually see if I can... Well, I'm not gonna. I, I dispelled. That was that was a little foolish on my end, actually. Um, I was. I wanted to just stun their spy, but that, as I say, that was foolish. Okay, we have to hit their um, brute. Okay, Assage is gone. That's okay, I suppose. Let's see. All right, go plague on everyone. I'll get gonna heal it, probably. Let's get Tenacity down on this dude. Hmm. Okay, so Zombie's gone. Massage is dead now. Let's get her back up and running. Let's uh, press our advantage against their uh, plague. Okay, Talzin is gone. Let's actually just summon her and have her die here. Summon her. Try to summon her and have her die. Um, okay, I gotta be careful here. Old Daka needs a turn. We need to get them both back, or at least one of them back. Let's see. Um, yeah, let's do the AoE. This should do some good damage. Try to get a stun. Cool. Whoa, Sunfack is going. Killed the brute passively, but he came back. Hmm. We'll dispel their madness here. Try to take out Spy. 
Alright, let's get Telson back. Just so we can kill their spy. Perfect. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get this done. Nice, got it, got it, got it. <laughs> Ross says, bring me more viewers to slake my thirst. Guys, we should put something out there. I don't even know. I could tell my guild. <laughs> Gig says, is, is Ross trying to throw down on me? Oh, man. Challenge. The challenge here. Ross says, don't underestimate my power. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's take out that brood alpha here. 56. All right, spirit never got touched. Cool. And right, we're back to ships. Who knows? He doesn't traditionally put the negotiator in the back there, so we'll see what he does. Uh, it looks like Radis. Radis and Malevolence. Ooh, the Malevolence is a tricky one, guys. That one's gonna be a tough one. Let's, uh, let's see. I've never used Commander Luke against a Mothma team. It seems... Seems like easy money, but I don't know. Ross with the gifted sub to Prime Force as well. Awesome. Dude, thank you so much. Let's see. So Leia isn't actually a rebel fighter. Um, let's kill Wedge first. He does that crazy AoE. Um, let's try to kill Leia next, I guess. So she doesn't go into stealth and make things all life make life all difficult for us. Uh, take out Lando, because he had the most turn meter. <clears throat> Let's see. Blind on all of them. Try to stun Biggs here. Take him out, and... Nice, got it. <laughs> Ross is saying, you're loyalist. <laughs> yeah, dude. The, the people you've been gifting specific subs to absolutely deserve it, man. Love you guys. Love everyone here. Gave it sub to Phimar. Phi. That's right, we agreed to call you Phi. <laughs> okay, so we got the 60 there. Let's see if they've attacked further. I'm interested. I just don't know about fleets, man. With Malevolence in here. Hmm. Alright guys, let's, let's get in here. So, the trick here... I've heard people say we're supposed to kill the vulture first, but it's always been such a better experience for me when I shoot Sunfac first. Okay. Oh, we didn't get an assist here. Okay, so we're gonna try killing Sunfac here anyways. Didn't work. Oh yeah, we might be in trouble then. We'll see. We shall see. Yeah, Biggs is gone. This might just be a huge fiasco. Alright, we gotta do this. Oh, come on. Actually give me some assist. At least kill Sunfac. At least let me kill Sunfac. Okay. We might be in trouble here. Um. Well, let's see. Hmm. If Sunfac was dead, I'd feel a lot better right now. Good to see you, EP, man. Good to see you here. Thing is, if I bring in the bomber, he'll taunt at least. He'll taunt. We can bring the shields down on this guy. And then we can do an AoE from the Falcon and hopefully just kill Sunfac that way. I think that's what I want to do here. And again, it's a long time to survive. It's a long time to survive with just the bomber and the Falcon here. gonna do it though see how how much damage we can do to the hyena bomber here uh oh okay well we might be in trouble guys in fact I believe we are okay we'll kill Sunfac at least gosh disappointing to the extreme that was a gross loss <laughs> Gross. That was disgusting. Bye, Felicia. Yeah. Damn it all. Hmm. 
Yeah, so the return meter loaded. We'll see how this goes, though. We might, we might be able to pull something off. So we wanted to use the... Finalizer will die hard against malevolence. Yikes. Okay, well, here's our... Here, here goes, I suppose. Dear Lord. It's gonna be sad if we don't clear because of this. Let's see. Wish I had killed that guy. Let's see. So the spy... Tell you what, we do want to kill that vulture droid eventually. Spy will just go into hiding anyways. Let's, let's hit their vulture droid. Um... Okay, so we want to get... Let's just see if we kill the vulture droid. Oh, we got him, at least. He'll come back, but... Okay, which, which one do I use here now? Sith Lord Snake, dude, thanks for the raid. Welcome, uh, raiders, welcome everyone. We're in the middle of a tense match here. I'd never used this counter. Good to see you guys, though. Sith Lord Snake, it's good to see you, man. Specials proc the ult. So let's see, this is... We gain protection up, recover that protection, gain 20% turn meter, we gain the deflector shield thing. This one... We gain tenacity up on one guy. And deflector shield. Deflector? On who? On Houndstooth, I think? Because we get tenacity up. Just gonna do it. Okay, now we want... Let's see. Dispel all buffs. We probably want to keep that one for ourselves. Let's see. Target lock with a 70% chance to expose them. We want the daze. Is this the daze one? This is target lock. Oh, this one is daze? Oh, perfect. Oh, still landed a buzz droid here. Lame. Okay, so we want her, I'm pretty sure. So we want to spin her around, right? I'm sure that I'm making mistakes here, but I don't... I just don't know what those mistakes are even. Uh-oh, Houndstooth is still doing this thing. Let's see. Or Houndstooth is not taunting anymore. Uh-oh, Poe isn't happy. this does. Oh, that did some good damage, actually. Let's see, does this cleanse? Just gives him foresight. Oh, let's just do damage here. He's gonna die soon, but what's a man to do? someone else in. I guess we can dispel all this madness, huh? We want foresight on Poe? Alright, next time we'll do it. Oh yeah, I'm gonna time out if I don't hurry here. Okay, I got the spy down. Oh, damn it all, I forgot to do the... F now Poe's gonna die because of my foolishness here. Goodbye, Poe. Damn it all. We got the ultimate, at least. I've never gotten that off in my life. That was so cool. We have Xanadu blood here, like magic. We can get IG-2000 out, and we're just good. That was sweet. <laughs> that was an ugly win. That was cool, though. Alright. Huh. Interesting. Oh, I should have gotten IG-2000 in. Oh, uh, well. Raise Falcon first. Alright. We can stun her. There we go. This will probably cleanse that, though. Yep. Damn it all. Um. Tell you what, let's do... Oh, days. There is days here. Hmm. 
I want to get rid of this foresight though. So if I do the AOE, that'll get rid of the foresight at least. I don't know if that was the right move, but we did it. Okay, no buffs allowed here. Oof, that was that was painful. Hopefully we can take out this falcon though. Okay. Well here, if I do this. Alright, hopefully. Good, good, good. Mmm. Do the pilot first, I guess. Uh-oh, now the houndstooth is here. But it's stealthed. Oh now it's taunting. Uh-oh. Okay, so this this might turn into a really rough match then. Hmm. If we can tear this houndstooth down fast enough. There we go. That was fast. Let's see if we can kill Poe here. Alright. Sunfak is holding on by a whisker, <laughs> but I got a banner for it anyways. Alright. <laughs> I told you it was gonna work. Hmm. Okay, well that, that sucks that I lost that, that fleet battle, but my opponent did drop one against me. Alright guys, and this is it. Uh, the match is over. You guys didn't have to wait at all. I had to wait a long time. My opponent did not attack that night. I uh, had to had to sleep through and uh, wait for the results, so um, I will show you guys what ended up happening. So, um, I did get the win. I got the win. Um, my opponent ended up, so you, you guys saw that they had failed once against that Ray squad. Um, then up top, they killed General Grievous for I think 53 banners. And then, maybe that's false, I, I actually don't remember now. Um, but then, they came back here and um, my last two battles, I, I just had to laugh. Um, my last two battles, people have gotten stuck on my negotiator. Now, my opponent got stuck on my Tarkin fleet, so it's kind of fun. Uh, and I don't think I needed it though. I, after I kind of just charted it out and all the teams he had available, I'm pretty sure he just didn't have the, enough teams to be able to clear my Grievous and my Supreme Leader Kylo and my General Skywalker, and after he failed on fleets, that would have cinched the win for me, or clinched the win for me anyways, but um, I, I think he just didn't want to have to deal with my nonsense and just called it quits. So uh, he never actually responded to any of my messages after a certain point, so that's fine, uh, but glad I got the win, went for 11 and 1, and yeah, so pretty good season. Thank you guys all so much for uh, watching and following along with me. It's been a lot of it's been a lot of fun. So uh, yeah, we're getting ready for three v three now, and it's going to be exciting for some people. And I, honestly, I think it'll be good. Uh, we'll we'll figure out some new weird comps. Hopefully, we can beat all the new Galactic Legends with some weird off-meta counter stuff. I don't know. I haven't figured that part out, but hopefully we can. So, um, if, and if we can't, I guess we can just uh, curse viciously. Uh, we're, we're good at that, too. So, anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. And remember that in all things, Zareth prevails. Even when he has to kill three Galactic Legends. What's going to happen when I have to kill four? Who knows? I'll probably be good at that too. <laughs> I I I probably will.